Hi, this is Charlie giving you Monday's video. Hope you're very well. Uh, for a change this week, I'm actually going to do a little bit of analysis. Some weeks, I just we have I have I'm inundated with emails, and I think they're quite good educational tools for the Monday videos. But this week, I'm just going to go straight in, nice and simple, and just give uh, an overall view here on the euro dollar. Um, I'm actually looking for more upside at the moment on the euro dollar. I'm seeing the potential for it if I zoom out here. This is a daily chart. For it to come up to this um, daily 200. Now I'm just going to double check that off screen on my e-signal charts because um, I do believe that their or their moving averages are more accurate for starters when we're looking at a daily chart. And so let's have a look. They're up at 116.90, so just under 117. So this is way off this this 200 here. So we're talking about way up here. And that I, I do think is the potential on the euro dollar. Now, if I'm wrong on this, I think if we get a close, a close below uh, 111.50, then all bets are off, and um, and we might then start to want to try and roll over. But as it currently stands, and obviously we've got to allow for that wiggle room because um, I think that, you know the euro is is um, volatile at the moment in the term. It doesn't know where it wants to go because of the whole Greek situation. But technically, when I'm looking at the charts and doing my analysis, I'm seeing the potential for a breakout, for a breakout of these highs. I don't know when it's going to come. We could break up a little bit and then come back in again. A bit like we've had here, so we can see that we, we had a nice little move up, then had a sharp move down. Marginally broke that high there and then came straight back off and then did a similar sort of thing here. We broke up <clears throat> last week and then we've backed off again so no one's willing to um, to stay in at the moment <laughs> but um, but I do see that potential when I look at it technically and I'm going out to the higher time frames for a um, a breakout ultimately now that could be a week away it could be two weeks away um, I, I can't tell the timing but um, what I can do is look at the um, the technicals and say well this looks to me like it's got some more upside now I know that we're into a resistance zone so we are into a resistance zone, um, and for that reason, obviously, I'm holding that caveat that if we break 111.50, then all bets are off, and um, and maybe we're going to start to see a bit more of a rollover. But as it currently stands, I'll allow. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it's going to move. It could could want to back off again, maybe come down to its daily 21 here, the blue line, um, and then see if it then starts to try and come back up again. But it, because at the moment. That's what I'm seeing, a potential run into those sort of mid-teens. So I'm talking about 116 to 117 zone. So um, uh, interesting, actually, that um, that's the way that the technicals are looking. So we shall see. We'll find out over the coming weeks, I guess, um, as we're heading into the middle, the thick end of the summer, as we get into July. Um, but um, that's where the technicals are at the moment. I shall leave that with you. Oh, actually, no, I'll have a very quick look at the S&P and the Dow because um, they're both um, holding up rather well at the moment and so that's the Dow, this is the S&P um, if they can carry on holding up here then there's no reason why we can't see them try and um, make a break for new highs if they can break last week's high then we're off to the races and I think we'll break to new highs I'll leave that with you, speak to you on Friday